sure you guys are sticking up with most of the stuff that I'm doing. Again, like the uh, Monday Night Live stream, I announced this. It's on my community tab, so make sure you check out my page every once in a while on my community section of my channel. I announced I was doing a video that I needed your help with. And that video is, in fact, tonight. Tonight, I'm answering your assumptions about me. The last time I did this was about a year or so ago. So there's a lot of you who probably haven't seen that video, know more, don't know a lot about me, or, or just new here that just want to know more about me. So tonight, I'm going to be answering some assumptions that maybe some of you newer people, maybe the people who have been watching for a couple of years now, just wanted to ask or assume about me. These are all, by the way, lighthearted, fun, it's whatever. Uh, I'll answer some of them. Maybe some of them I'll leave in the dark, but I'll leave you to assume. I don't know, but we're going to have to find out. So make sure you guys like, 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 make sure you like, like, like tonight's video. Liking the video is the best thing you can possibly do for me, this channel, YouTube's algorithm, all that fun YouTube stuff. And also, if you want to, you can still comment some assumptions down below. Maybe just any questions you have for me down in the comments and I'll answer them. Maybe, maybe if I get a chance to see them or any other video ideas you guys want to do as a group. Maybe another Q&A, maybe a subscribers pick my triggers to use in a video or something that we can be more involved with as a, as a group, as a community or whatever you want to call us. I'm also going to be doing some of these in soft spoken, so sorry if you're not the biggest fan of soft spoken. I just don't get a chance to do them or do it a lot on my channel and people ask for it. Sometimes I'll do a little bit in and out of this video, but yes. We have some of your assumptions now. This actually got a pretty decent amount of uh, interaction since I've only announced it really on a Monday, 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 Monday night live stream. And um, obviously, some people who haven't been there also just saw it pop up, pop, 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 pop up on their community page or community tab, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I appreciate you that you decided to do that. Now, some of these are again a little bit more playful, a little more lighthearted, which I love. I love that. Um, and some of them are a little bit more deeper than that. Like, for example, there's one here from Ben, who's been around the channel for a minute. He says, um, I'd assume you eat eight bowls of oatmeal for $500. That is definitely one of the most random assumptions I think you can say and put on anyone. But could I eat eight on eight bowls of oatmeal for $500. I'm not sure if I can do that. Now, if it's just like eat as many bowls of oatmeal for X amount of dollars, I can probably, probably knock out a good amount, especially if they are the dinosaur egg oatmeal. I love that. Let me know if you've ever had the dinosaur egg oatmeal. And then kind of on the complete opposite end of that spectrum, you have Bob, who's a, kind of a big supporter on the channel, kind of comments on everything. Uh, Bob, uh, his assumption about me is that my subscribers actually annoy me, which, wow, I really hope Bob doesn't think that. Bob, I've talked to him in emails before, he knows that I, he doesn't annoy me, but, um, no, uh, you guys do not annoy me. Um, obviously in all communities there are people who definitely go above and beyond with that it is, you know, above and beyond in like the truly um, dumb way, which is just not fun. People you just get rid of very quickly. And obviously those people are extremely annoying. Um, the community that I want to have and still try to hold on together isn't revolved around that, even though, you know, a sports, uh, if you want to call this a sports channel, which it definitely isn't, but there's a lot of sports fans out there on this channel. And that's definitely a very toxic community especially if you go on apps like Twitter, uh, Bleach Report has a very toxic community of fans as well. So I try to keep that as minimal as possible. I like discussions. I like things like that, but when it, you know, or banter, but when it comes to conflict, I, there's no tolerating that. But also, on the other hand, there are people who definitely go above and beyond in like an over-attentive way where they just like need or want a lot of attention like say through emails or comments and stuff like that, like wanting to be noticed or uh, during live streams, which is fine. That just happens. So no, you guys don't annoy me. If anything, you guys can annoy me more. Go ahead and comment more, like the videos more. That, that'll that really get me. That's going to be really annoying. Oh, darn. Uh, we have uh, Sprays Gaming has one that says, I assume 
you got, or I guess had maybe, maybe got uh, the best trip in the friend group. I don't really have like a, a friend group like that anymore, so maybe it could be had, like maybe like back in school and stuff. But both answers are still gonna be, still gonna be no. Um, back in the days of school, um, definitely not. I was definitely a, a trend follower than a trend center. I wore the same stuff everyone else did, and even then I still wore a lot of basic stuff. And even if we're counting today, no. You guys have seen what I wear for videos, which I guess I wouldn't really count as like my trip. I film videos at 2 o'clock in the morning. I really don't care what I look like all the time. Um, but even throughout my years of YouTube, you guys have seen like what I've worn and it's just basic stuff. And I like basic, uh, minimal clothing and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. So, um, no. Maybe one day if I got like a bunch of money, I could express myself a little bit more. Maybe a little bit better. But even then, I'm just not like a very materialistic person. So I still kind of wear the same stuff all the time. Another person had an assumption that their assumption is that I'm kind of a little awkward and shy. Awkward and shy. Awkward and shy. I necessarily wouldn't say awkward and so, uh, shy. Um, the thing I do get a lot is that I'm very quiet, which is kind of funny because I do make ASMR videos, but I, I'm just not like a very talkative person. I don't even want to say I'm not outgoing because, I mean, I travel by myself. I do trips and go out by myself. I eat at restaurants by myself. I'm very outgoing by myself. I'm just not like someone who is just going to be outbursting with anything. Um, the best thing I always say is, you know, if I have something to say, I'll say it. If I don't have anything to say, I'm just going to keep to myself because that's just how I usually am. So, um, even to you guys, you might think I'm, you know, obviously quiet shy just because, again, I make ASMR content and, I mean, I don't really get to show a whole lot of um, expression and, and loudness while creating videos. So maybe one of these days I'll do like a non-traditional uh, ASMR video or even an ASMR live stream just to show you guys, I guess, more of me. But um, I definitely wouldn't say awkward or shy. Maybe I am awkward. Maybe. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. I am awkward. Sure, socks is socks assumption is that my favorite condiment is ketchup which is a good one i think that's definitely a, a pretty op condiment obviously you can go basic on anything there's even a friend that i had a, a couple years ago that really liked ketchup on their sandwiches yeah not a hamburger not a burger but on their regular like ham sandwiches they liked ketchup on theirs which that's definitely interesting is it my favorite condiment Probably, yeah. I mean, like, of course, it's like Chick-fil-A sauce, if that, like, counts as a condiment, or, you know, hot sauce does do wonders on a lot of things. I think mayo is pretty, you know, interesting. can go good with a lot of other things, but I think ketchup is, like, a good, that's a good condiment if Chick-fil-A sauce isn't, you know, on the board, which I guess it doesn't even go with, like, a lot of stuff. Another great assumption is that uh, you aren't the relationship type. Oh, my God. That is, um definitely something that's pretty spicy, a little bit deep. Not the relationship type. I would definitely say that's wrong, but I'm definitely not like, you know, I used to be a little insider to Jake. I used to be very much like putting myself out there, like you guys have seen before, like the dating app videos and stuff like that, which I guess I, I am on, but like I'm not like actively doing stuff on those apps like I used to be back in the day. I'm just way too busy, and that's not me, like, bragging or boasting, like, oh, I'm doing, you know, off-camera stuff, and then my on-camera stuff's doing so good, I'm just too busy for that stuff, oh my god, no, I just, I, I do have a lot going on, I'm trying to do all that, and then trying to balance, like, a good, healthy life, and family, and, like, and I have a lot of plans this year for, like, traveling, and doing things, not only for the channel, but for myself, I feel like I really want to do a lot more for, for myself, so... I am that type, like, I would love that side of, of life, you know, family, all that white picket fence to big house dog family, you know, junk that everyone loves to talk about, but it just, obviously, A, doesn't seem that realistic, because that's extremely hard to find nowadays, apparently, but also, you know, I'm just not going to be throwing myself out there for everyone, because, you know, that's a lot of time, and uh, not about to waste my time, so... Yeah. Even though I know for a fact 
ASMR with my girlfriend video would go insane. So maybe one of these days I'll get some good cookplay for you guys. Um, another person said, I assume you have a big family. Um, not really. Actually, I'm not even really that close with like a lot of my, um, what's it called? Like external family, like cousins and aunts and uncles. I'm not like super close with like a lot of them, but you guys have heard me talk about before with my family down in California. Even then, that's like very small, immediate family, like grandparents, some cousins here and there, some aunts and uncles, but not like a lot. Um, you know, my dad, my mom, my brothers, two brothers, um, not too like super for, uh, family orientated like we used to be back in the day. We used to have like huge family outings and we used to be the people that would actually host them, but that, uh, hasn't happened in a very long time. So not necessarily, but family is like a huge part of my life. And as you guys know, I pretty much talk about them in almost every video and you know, they mean, they mean a lot to me. So yeah, someone also assumed that you were embarrassed and felt weird about doing ASMR at the start, but slowly got into it and enjoy it a lot now. Um, felt weird about doing ASMR. I actually, to be honest, didn't feel that weird, 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 weird doing, 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 doing ASMR. It was actually the camera that was weird. Um, that was the only thing that I felt really not necessarily uncomfortable with, because obviously if you watch a video of me, even from like a year ago, I act a lot different. Even you want to go back further than that, like go back five years from now, I definitely am a little bit more timid and I would say boring in my own opinion, but you know, it's just, just time of being more comfortable on camera and stuff like that. So I always have loved doing ASMR. I always thought it was something very fun and, and interesting to do, but as for a fact of being like actually awkward with that in, in, in particular, no, it was mostly just like being on camera and having, you know, hundreds back then people watch. You also have Blake, 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 shout out to Blake, someone who's also been a big supporter to the channel, uh, assuming that I don't love video games nearly as much as I once did yourself that you enjoy them at the same level um oh man i i i don't love video games as much as i used to because again video games now nowadays are, just, are, are as good as they used to be that's not even being like oh the nostalgia oh this and that um hogwarts legacy was a good game i finished that one almost 100 percent of the game um god of war ragnarok was good Other than that, there haven't been a lot of good games out, in my opinion, but, you know, gaming is always hit and miss nowadays, where I feel like, obviously, like, back in the day, the nostalgia factor, I feel like there was a good, really solid game every couple months, but now it's just, I only play video games, like, maybe, like, once or twice a week now. ASMR man has an assumption that I, uh, am a fan of another NBA team due to the Trailblazers not being very good at the moment. Um, I've always sort of stated I've never, like, a diehard fan of sports like i'm not like a fan who's gonna be like you know whining and crying or getting super overly joyous you know or even like punching a hole in the wall if my team loses i'm not like that crazy in the sports i love sports a lot though like obviously you guys know and i don't even like to think i'm pretty insightful when it comes to a lot of different aspects of sports but i'm not like that crazy so even about you know the portland trailblazers i like them i love them actually but I also love the Lakers, uh, really enjoy the Kings, the Cavaliers this year have been a team I've been watching a lot as well, um, the Orlando Magic, kind of because they're actually uh, connected with Disney maybe, I also really enjoy them, yeah, I mean like all the teams, I have people ask me all the time, oh Jake Baller, um, what teams do you hate, what NBA players can't you stand, I don't like hate any teams, any franchises, any players, they're all doing the same thing, they're all playing a sport, you know, they're putting a ball in a hoop or throwing a ball to catch it, you know, it's all just people, everyone doing the same thing, so, uh, yeah. Oh, Hughes Hall of Fame has an assumption that's actually a great connection to an upcoming announcement, thank you for letting me plug this in this video. They assume that my upcoming live stream announcement, which is this Monday, there is in fact a announcement, so if you're watching this and hoping to see the announcement, you're gonna want to check by uh, this upcoming Monday for that announcement, but they think that announcement is that I have a girlfriend or that I'm going to college, which one of them is very random. <laughs> the other one is very unrealistic. You can maybe uh, guess which one is which. I'm not gonna confirm or deny these because you're just gonna have to be there, but I do have a 
as of right now, two announcements, maybe even three announcements for upcoming Monday's live stream. So you're definitely going to want to be there. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a rapid fire round. Now I'm just going to be spewing out an answer, just going through them a lot quicker. Um, Isabella's assumption about me is that I'm the type of person who enjoys getting out there and trying an activity rather than being a homebody. Uh, they said they love my videos. Thank you so much. Um, that's tough. I think I'm definitely, and I'm sure you've heard this term a lot, a, like, an introverted extrovert, which basically means I really love going out, doing stuff. I love exploring, trying new things, going out and experiencing, you know, life. But I kind of like doing it, like, kind of by myself, not in, like, a big, uh, expressive way. Uh, I love going out into crowds, but I don't like being, like, the center of attention. I like being, like, again, an introverted extrovert. Like, I love being out with people, but I do love, like, recharging and, like, being by myself most of the time. That's, if that makes any sense, but you're, you're kind of almost on the spot. Uh, boy, ha ha. That's a funny one. Yeah, their assumption is that, uh, my cooking is better than most people's. I would have to say so. Obviously on my channel, I've done a couple of cooking videos, which are like very basic for me, in my opinion. I try to keep it plain and simple, not only because I think they're just more fun to cook, but also they're just easier to film. So maybe one of these days, if I'm feeling very inspired to make a really good cooking video, maybe I'll do it, but they take a lot of effort. So maybe I'll do it on one of these days, but I do love to cook. Um, another person's assumption is that I am definitely the responsible friend, definitely the guy I would trust to hold anyone's alcoholic drink and would trust them to drive me. Um, that's nice. That's a very nice compliment, actually. Um, I would say, yeah, um, I'm always just the, the, the down to do whatever friend guy. I'm, I'm very much um, attentive to people. And, you know, if someone wants to, like, go hang out one weekend, I'll definitely try my best to make an opening for them, no matter who it is or what it is. And I always try to, like, be there, uh, definitely for the people in my life, because they are in my life for a reason. They are important to me. So definitely not wrong with that one. Um, let's see. Another person's assumption is that I don't actually like the Blazers. You're just a fan because of Lillard. I mean, that's like, that's like 60% true. I guess when, or I guess if <laughs> Lillard either leaves or retires, my fandom will definitely dip maybe even quite a lot. Um, you know, if he gets traded, I'll definitely be supporting that team no matter what. I'll still be supporting Portland, obviously, but will it be at 100% or 98, 95, 90% like it is right now? Probably not. So you're not wrong, but also it's not like it's like a, you know, Dan retires and I'm instantly a fan of a different team or gets traded. That's, I don't think that's very true. Joe's assumption is that I pour most of my time into working and don't leave enough time for yourself. Yeah, um, as I've already sort of already stated in this video, I definitely do a lot for the channel. I feel like I can do more, obviously, but if I do do more, I will do do. If I do more, um, I don't know what will happen to my body because already right now I feel like it's it's breaking down on me. But yeah, definitely a lot of not good sleep nights. A lot of days where I've even like blown off plans, even even though I just stated I try to not do that. But sometimes I, you know, I have like a really great plan, or I maybe have like an IRL uh, ASMR in public video planned and I really want to get it done so maybe I'll just you know work my way around and through things make life definitely a lot harder on myself to create content for you guys so again hopefully you guys um appreciate that if you don't then I guess that's okay too but you are the sarcastic one in your friend group that is also very true um even though I don't get to show it a lot I sometimes do again in, in the live streams I do like play around a lot um like people ask like oh you, are you gonna do this video and I always say no, like, why are you asking? I'll never do that video. And then it'll be tomorrow's video. I sometimes do that. I'm very, you know, playful and sarcastic, I guess, in some ways. Um, bro always smells good. That's a fact. Because of Dossier. Oh, wow. Good plug. Good little ad plug right there for Dossier. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> Windmill Asimor says, uh, you never get sick. You almost never get sick. But when you do it, it's seriously bad. Yes. Um, when I went to Vegas, I had, I thought, a little sore throat uh, coming back from Vegas for my trip back in February, and I came home, and I got sick sick. I was really badly sick, even though I, I kept coming out with content for you guys. You guys probably didn't even notice I was sick, but I was very, very, very sick. I probably had one of the worst colds I've ever had, ever, but it was still, like, one of the first colds I've had in, like, two years, so you're, you're definitely hitting the nail on that one. Big shout out to, to Jay here, also a big 
big uh, supporter of the channel says that you secretly love your videos and content now, but you seem unsure at times. But you say you're unsure sometimes. Uh, you're not wrong. You're kind of calling me out. I, I, I do like my videos, and I do hope you guys like my videos. But, like, I can't, like, always assume that, oh, if even if I love a video, you guys are gonna like it. Because that's, like, 70, 80% of the videos I've ever made I've really, really, really liked. And only, like, a very small handful I've done well. But, you know, the people who still like them really like them. And some people just don't enjoy them. So that's okay. So that's why I'm always, like, on the unsure part of it. Because I could create the best video of all time posted on YouTube and it's still not too good so that's why I'm always kind of like unsure of stuff so I guess I don't know uh you also assume I have the worst sleeping schedule ever yes that is yes and I absolutely hate the idea of being popular also correct wow that's <laughs> you guys are really good at this um yeah I've already stated and maybe because I've stated this before maybe you got it from that I I you know People always say, oh, you deserve more subs, you should get, you know, a million, how you not had a million subs yet, or 500,000. I don't want that, I, I don't want that, like, sure, if one day this is, like, what I do, and, like, I can do this comfortably, and this is, like, a real, real thing, that's cool, that's awesome, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that, but that's, like, that's, like, the goal, I guess, or that's, like, the tippy top, like, I don't want, like, you know, fame, and whatever, what comes with that stuff, like, I, I, if I could, like, cap how many people could, like, view my channel, or subscribe, or do any of that stuff, I wish I could, because I would, because I don't, I don't want that, I just don't, another person says, you'd rather not be posting every day, yes, um, that's also true, I think one of these days, I will come out with more of a schedule, even now, I only post, like, six days a week, uh, because of the Monday night live stream, so, that's a, a, a good thing, I guess, but maybe one of these days, I'll even take just, like, an entire day off from YouTube. I don't really get a lot of those uh, throughout the year. Sometimes I'll double film one night and take a day off then, or if I go on, like, a vacation, I'll just binge film for, like, a couple of days, and that is very tiring, but uh, maybe one of these days I'll knock it back down to maybe, like, four or five days a week, but I can't really stop now because, again, like, you guys have, have been seeing and the support on the channel has been so crazy right now. I don't really want to mess it up. So um, we're going to keep going on as, as we're going on. So I think that is mostly going to be it. Um, nothing too terrifying in this assumptions video, which I'm very happy about. Maybe that also plays into maybe like not a lot of people knowing about it. But maybe this is just a little bit of a heads up that, you know, keep intact. Um, check out my community page on my page um, every once in a while. Uh, tap into the live streams because I'll usually announce videos like this then and uh, yeah this was definitely a lot of fun you guys um, scaring scaringly know me pretty well um, some of you assume things that are a little bit too accurate and some of you are kind of far off and kind of digging a little deep that's totally fine that's that's the point of this video maybe next time again maybe you guys would like to do like a q a or a subscribers try or subscribers do asmr video i think that could be a lot of fun for maybe like the 25 to a thousand subscriber special there's a lot of things we can do so comment down below if you have an idea like that and uh, yeah i love you love you love you love you love you love you and i'll see you again